कुरान के अंदर आपको एक जगह पर बहुत ही अजीब और गरीब आयत मिलेंगी हम ना गोना गो थ्रू इंटायर आयत जस्ट लुक लिसन टू दिस वर्ड ओ बिलीवर्स बिलीव ओ ईमान वालो ईमान लाओ अरे भाई ये तो ऑलरेडी ईमान वाले ही है इज दैट आई एज इज टॉकिंग टू अस इफ वी कॉल आवर सेल्फ द बिलीवर्स देन अल्लाह इज चैलेंजिंग अस इज टेलिंग अस ओ बिलीवर बिलीव वाई डू वी नीड टू बिलीव वेन वी ऑलरेडी बिलीव बिकॉज वी बिलीव सुपरफिशली on the things our parents told us and we are just following it or we are believing in the shariat the zahir and allah is saying and the imam is saying in this farman believe in the batin o believers e mere pyare spiritual children o believers believe in the batin believe in unseen remember the five principle of the islam what are the five principle of the islam and the iman believe in allah believe in angels believe in books believe in prophets and believe in unseen believe in unseen ye par batin ki baat aati hai अच्छा तो लेट्स गो टू कपल ऑफ अदर फॉरम एंड देन वी कैन ओपन द फ्लोर फॉर सम डिस्कशन एंड देन आई हैव कपल ऑफ मोर थिंग्स दैट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर द वन वाई इल्म रिमेंबर वी आर दिस कोर्स इज आर कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द इल्म शनाफी वाई डू वी नीड द इल्म सो वी आर कवरिंग वाई डू वी नीड द बातिनी इल्म because physical ill the scholarly ill we are all educated and we have a lot of that what we need is a batini ill so i wanted to read this uh, imam ne farmaya hai lekin kalam e mola ali ka kalam hai jo imam uh, uh, apne ek lecture ke andar farmate hain Hazrat Ali Abi Talib who emphasized in his teachings that there is no honor like knowledge knowledge se bada koi bhi zyada fakr ki cheez nahi hai there is no honor like knowledge if you have the patini knowledge then you are the honorable you are the honorable if you don't have a bit in knowledge then it does not matter what you have how much money you have or how much different titles you have it does not mean anything hame koi yaad nahi hai ki kaun sa mukhi aur kaun sa amaldar imam sultan abishah ke zamane mein tha ya usse pehle kisi zamane mein tha but we remember our peers our dais our hujatan our imams our prophets why because they did a miracle what was their miracle they gave us the knowledge the knowledge that continues today knowledge that we learn from our history and remember imams from man when you are sitting you should take couple of hours a day to think about who you are where you come from who are your forefathers and who was adam and imam says imam goes even further and what was before adam that's the knowledge i'm talking about humko kis tarah pata chale how would we know who adam is and what happened to him and how it happened to him how allah created him and who was before him again is imam is tricking us by giving this farman 
No, no, Zvila, no, no, no. It is all possible if we go inward. अगर हम अपने बातीन के अंदर जाते हैं और हमारे मजहब को हिस्ट्री से और दाइयों से और पीरों से और गिनानों से और फरमानों से और कुरान से सीखते हैं the deeper knowledge of our tariqa it is possible to know who adam was who sent him where he came from and what was before him because imam would not give us a farman which was not possible to achieve so there is couple more farmin and they are both from uh rajkot india october 21st 1903 is farman of imam akas sultan mohammad shah salawatullah alaihi may our soul be sacrificed to their imam imam says what big difference is there between your religion and that of the others think about it your religion is spiritual and that of other is physical and if the spiritual knowledge will not reach listen to this carefully and if the spiritual knowledge will not reach their soul agar batini ilm hamari ruh tak nahi pahunchega to mula kya farmate dekhe if this if the spiritual knowledge will not reach their soul in childhood then the physical religion jismani deen would get set into their mind माफी के साथ अगर आज हमारा तरीका और हमारा सोचने का तरीका फिजिकली है जिस्मानी है तो इसमें किसका कसूर है बिकॉज आवर सोल नेवर रिसीव द स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज एंड दिस इज नॉट टू डेज फॉर मान this farman is over 120 year old mola warned us if we don't receive the spiritual knowledge then the physical tariqa physical religion will set in our mind and we will follow the spiritual tariqa like monkeys and donkeys imam says it in his farman if anybody want to read this farman let me know and i will share इमाम से अगर आपने मेरे बच्चों को आपने अपना दीन नहीं सिखाया तो वो गधे हो जाएंगे दे विल नॉट नो देर रिलीजन स्पिरिचुअल बातिनी रिलीजन हमको सीखना है इल्म के जरिए से कौन से इल्म के जरिए से बातिनी स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज के जरिए से हमको सीखना है there are few other farman but let's open the floor and let's see what question do we have and then we will read um, i have couple more farmin that i can share g go ahead don't be shy if i may i'd like to make a comment uh, expanding on something you mentioned about the word esoteric and batin g i just want to point um, make one point that sometimes we understand the word batin and esoteric as being spiritual um like a spiritual interpretation which of course is correct but there's another connotation to the word esoteric which is very important especially for our say for smileys that esoteric is not just a spiritual sort of hidden meaning it is that there's also something which is um it's considered an initiated type of meaning that is known only to a specific group so for example you know the sufis certain sufi sects might consider their knowledge as batin as well which it can be for them that's their hidden and their interpretation their sort of inner meanings but esoteric would be specific to each group so an ismaili authentic ismaili tawil or interpretation 
is not necessarily the same as another one's interpretation. And it's not just knowing something which is beyond the physical, but if we are Ismaili, then our knowledge should be guided by the Ismaili tariqa, meaning the imams and, you know, our history of Baid and Hujjats and what their under, this understanding of what the inner meaning of Quran is. And I think it's important because also Imam has mentioned that in his um, Irshad Mubarak, it was during Golden Jubilee time in Dar es Salaam, and the Imam mentioned, if I may just read really quickly half the passage, but the Imam says that uh, he's speaking about the Quran and says that this is an area of the practice of our faith. This is an area which is highly important, but which requires commitment on behalf of the Jamaat and guidance on behalf of the Imam. And I want to make it clear to my spiritual children that we are and will continue to seek out knowledge and understanding, particularly from the Quran, so that my Marids can look forward to the future with interpretation which is correct. And I found that, I found that to be interesting when he says interpretation which is correct. And then immediately thereafter, the Imam continues and says, You are aware, of course, that over the history of Islam, there are thousands and thousands of interpretations of the Quran for every time. For every part within the Ummah, there have been interpretations of the Quran. And it is important that as time, invo- as time evolves, we should continue under the guidance of the Imam to seek clarity and understanding from the Quran al-Sharif. And I want my spiritual children to know that this is an endeavor which is being undertaken on an ongoing basis and that guidance will be given on a continuing basis. So I just wanted to make that uh, point that sometimes esoteric, it doesn't mean just pick up, I would say it doesn't mean pick up any book that sometimes maybe some popular Sufism has written about what the Quran means, but we should also look forward to uh, something from specific with our tariqa. But then the question comes here is also, you know, this Ramadan for me was made in, or this Tershad was made in 2007, and we're now in 2020, and I'm not sure if it's just myself, you know, not being guided to the right sources, but some of the wonder is where are we getting this interpretation which is correct, when the Imam has said that it will be on an ongoing basis, but sometimes I wonder how do we seek out the proper sources of interpretation for our faith. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Yali Madhav to everybody, this is Faraz here. Thank you, Zilvai, for sharing. It was very informative and very touching. Uh, just few thoughts, as you know. The bottom is really, as you know, is hidden in Zahir, right? So Zahir is a source to get to Batan. And this is why Mola has given us the body. But really, the essence of Batan, for Ismaili belief, is, like Hazimam said in Moscow, right? To recognize the Imam of the time. And to recognize the Imam of the time is not only saying that he is the Imam, but also understand the concept of the Nur and also to do his Farman Bardari. Because in Quran, even Mola says, right, for Zakat and in our Parika, the song, uh, give me Karse Husna. So really all these Zahirs do add up to the Baden because when Imam says that you can be like Pir Sadardin, Pir Shams, and all the Prophet's name, what did they have really in the beginning? They had Guramas, right? They had the Sond. They had really the purity of everything that they developed because of the dua, the son, recognition of the imam, and following the farman of the imam. So, you know, in, in reality, when you think about it, the Quran itself is really encompassed in very few surahs of the Quran. And this is where imam says, understand the Quran so that you have a true interpretation what Quran really means. And of course, you know, all that meaning will not come to us within one reading or one understanding of whatever we have learned. And based
basically, you know, the whole Quran encompasses, of course, in Surah Al-Fatiha. And then if you go to the second Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah, it's very clearly decided, given to us how are we going to get to the Baatin. And the Baatin, it says, Mullah says, right, Alif Lam Meem, Zalik al Kitabula Raibafi, Putul al Muttakin al Azina Yomenuna, Bil Raibi, Wayoki Muna Salata, Wamimma Razakna Hom Yun Fakun. And you read all this, just the five surahs talks about that believe in the, in the book, I'm also the Baat and Raib, do you the Sand and your Salat, believe in the Prophet and all the books, right? And then he says, if you follow these things, you are the one who are following the path and you will be the one who will, who will be successful. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you, everybody. So, the comments on the uh, Kial because Kial left us with a question. And the question was, how? So, we remember, and this will also uh, cover what uh, Faraz Sahib has also uh, said. Imam has given us a clear guidance and there was two part of this guidance as we just uh, heard from Kial that it will take hard work from the Jamaat and then it will take some work from the Imam but the first part initial part the first step is taken by the Jamaat to learn the Quran or learn the history or seek the Batin of our Tariqah. Because until we say that I wanted to learn, it would not work. Second, the Farman of Susan Muhammad Shah, may our soul be sacrificed to that Imam. He says, learn the Quran or your tariqah from your own teachers, from Ismailis. As Nasara learned their religion from their people and Jewish learned their religion from their people. So when you are learning and if you want to learn the Ismaili tariqah from the Quran, I'm going to repeat this part again because somebody come back and challenge. If you want to learn our tariqah, if you want to learn the imam and the recognition of the imam and the batin of our tariqah, then learn from the Quran from those who know the Quran. And now I'm quoting the imam Farman. Learn from those teacher who knows, who have the ilm or the knowledge of our tariqah and also have nirbit and the words Imam uses is Sudbud the understanding of the Batin because if you only have understanding of the Zahir then what is the difference between our teachers and the other teachers of the Zahir so Conditions I have Imam has given us. Someone who knows our tariqah and someone who have the understanding of the batin. Because we are trying to learn the batin of our tariqah. If you want to learn the desire of our tariqah, that's perfectly fine. Go to somebody who knows the knowledge of desire and they can teach you. If you want to learn the desire of the Quran, go to anyone you want to learn the desire of the Quran. But if you want to learn the batin of the Quran, then you must learn from those who understand the batin of the Quran, who understand our tariqah. And then one other thing that what Farah Sahib said, when Imam says to recognize me, 
he is announcing entire in entire world is telling everybody he is the imam of the time everybody knows he is the imam of time we all recognize that he is the imam of time what is imam is telling us the one who wanted to learn that learn and they recognize the nur of the imam now you take this farman and take the other farman take the soul and look at your soul agar hum apne ruh ko bahar nikal ke dekhe so what mulali has said whoever knows their soul knows allah whoever knows his soul more know allah more so ye farman ke apne ruh nikal ke dekho और इमाम का ये फरमान के रिकनाइज करो इमाम को बिकॉज आवर हायर सोल इज इमाम रिकनाइजिंग योर सोल इज द रिकनाइजेशन ऑफ द इमाम ऑफ द टाइम डू यू सी हाउ यू कैन पुट दो फरमान टूगेदर टू एंड टू टूगेदर अंटिल वी लर्न हाउ टू पुट टू एंड टू टूगेदर we will not be able to reach to the conclusion of the interpretation what imam is talking about in golden jubilee farman that it is me or i who would do the interpretation of the quran but we don't see any interpretation of quran in last 12 13 14 year so has not imam done his job yes he has who has he done this job for those who seeking the interpretation of the quran remember the first condition imam had put in in that farman if you wanted to learn if you wanted to learn so let me stop here salim kamriya is uh, wanted to say something and i think barkat gilani wanted to say something go ahead yes i think so so one of the friend uh, has a question so the friend asked uh, while teaching battle ill how can we teach about the spirituality of our tariqa and the friend has in the context of the farman uh, which you just shared of sultan al shah if the spirituality knowledge will not reach the dear soul in childhood then the physical religion would get set into their minds and we will all a spiritual tariqa like monkeys and monkeys ji so uh bakar sahab did you want to say something before i answer him Uh, no, no. Okay, your phone is on mute. अच्छा, तो ये जो सवाल आया, मेरे ख्याल में कनाडा से कोई पूछ रहा है ये सवाल. Yes, if we don't have the spiritual knowledge, how will we teach this to our children? That is the question. So it is upon us. It is demanded on us. is is been burden on us to first learn our tariqa tariqa of the batin and if you don't know where to look or how to look trust me ask imam he will guide you he will always and always will point you to those people who has this knowledge but first condition is on you the responsibility of the teaching to the children is on the parents it is all on us i remember on the farman of sultan muhammad shah that those who have the batini knowledge of our tariqa if they don't teach to others then they will be sinful so if we have the batin in knowledge of our tariqa it is up on us responsibility on us to teach but one cannot teach unless someone wanted to someone wanted to come forward and say i wanted to learn so the first condition is for one to say i wanted to learn and then responsibility falls on the teacher to teach because if he does not teach then it is not your fault he is sinful according to imam farman 
does this answer your question you seek the true knowledge seek the true knowledge learn 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 and then you will be able to teach your children one other principle to remember in learning and teaching in learning and teaching one principle when your children ask when your friend ask when your family ask when your jamaat ask a question if you don't know the answer it is okay definitely it is okay to say i don't know the answer but note the question now it is upon you to seek the answer go look for the answer find the correct answer the answer that touches your heart and then give that answer back to the person who was asking isko bolte hain hamare mazhab mein hujjat puri karna it is your responsibility to find that answer because someone trusted you with the question do not give the incorrect answer if you know the answer fine if you don't then find the correct answer and give it is important but all of us together inshallah we are seeking the knowledge we are seeking the batini knowledge the true knowledge and we will continue on this subject for next few weeks uh one of the ayat and one of the uh farman i want to uh read and then we will open again for the questioning because we still have about 5 or 7 more minutes in one of the farman imam says on the day of judgment other people may even have an excuse that they were unaware of sirat al mustaqim but you and imam describe who you are the arabs the badakhshan the khojas the momnas etc the smileys of the true path will have no excuse will have no excuse because we have the living imam to teach to guide to interpret and if we are the mu'minin of this tariqa the follower of the imam it is upon us to learn and the ayat that i was referring to was the surah hud ayat number 7 it is a whole ayat but i'm going to only uh, read the small part of it on that day on the day of kiamat you will be tested you will be tested in your knowledge and in your deeds agar humko imam ne agar humko khudaan taala ne agar humko rasulon ne sikhaya hi nahi hai kuch if they have not given us the true knowledge how unfair it would be for allah to test us on the day of kiamat test kabhi aata hai when do we give the test first we go to school we learn teacher teaches end of the year when we have enough knowledge we give test the very first day you enter the classroom and if your teacher say okay you ready for your test that would be really unfair of him correct look at this farman what excuse will we have at the end of the day how we will pass this test at the end of the day if imam has not given us the knowledge imam ne humko knowledge diya hai imam ne humko baatein sikhaya hai tabhi ja ke wo bolta hai ki tumko kya excuse hoga tumhare paas और तुमको टेस्ट देना पड़ेगा बिकॉज ही हैज डन इज पार्ट नाव इज टेलिंग अस दैट यू विल हैव नो एक्सक्यूज नाव इज टेलिंग अस दू विल बी टेस्टेड ऑन दैट डे 
and the test comes after the learning and the teaching. We have done our part. We need to ask ourselves. Imam has done his part? Definitely. Definitely he has done his part. We will continue on the subject of the batin of our tariqa and the need of the knowledge in our tariqa inshallah next week. We still have a few more minutes. If any more question, please go ahead. so much as he sir for your wisdom just wanted to uh, make a point where the imam uses the word recognize if we look at the etymology of the word recognize it comes from the latin word that means to recall to mind or to relearn and so it is as if you're identifying someone you've already encountered before so i think it is fascinating that the word recognize has been used because this makes sense both spiritually having come from him and returning to him so it's a re recognition recalling again of that or in the zahir already having known him as the physical imam to then re-know him as the spiritual as well so it would be a, a relearning on both ends and i believe in another firman he has actually said you must learn you must relearn and unlearn. So I just wanted to make that point. Thank you. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Thank you. Any other comments or question? Yeah, earlier you mentioned um, the concept of uh, die before you die, which I believe is a hadith of die before you die. Um, if you're looking for this in Quran, word Surah 2, Ayah 54, be a good example of the same teaching of Quran. 254 being uh, the guidance of Moses for those who are worshiping the calf when he, when he asked them, I can recite the verse if that's if that's okay, but it's the verse where he's asking them to kill themselves. Would that be the equivalent, can we say, from a spiritual sense of that before you die? Yes, yes, because they were asked to die. Yes, thank you. Remember, you can always ask question online or you can send it afterward. And if you have a comment, you can do so too. And thank you, everybody. Uh, if there is no more question, we can stop here. And may Mola be with you and your family. May Mola keep you all under his nurani, didar. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Ya Ali Madad. Anyone else? Thank you everybody again. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad.